So sometimes Mike gets a little out of hand whenever he starts repairing stuff. And this week it has been garden tools. <laughs> Let me show you. So he said he was tired of stuff rusting, so he put truck bed liner and clear coat on all the metal pieces to the wheelbarrow. And then hanging to dry, we have a freshly stained rake. Can you see this? Stained and clear coated, because, you know, why not? <laughs> oh, but it didn't end there. Not by a long shot. Let me rewind a little bit. So we asked our friends which they preferred. We had two face options that we were considering putting on the wheelbarrow. One being Mike's choice was the flying tiger shark's teeth and two was a little monster peeking out, which was my choice. From the sneak peek, you can guess which one they chose, but it was only winning by one vote. And in the end, I'm so glad this is the one that they chose. My little monster still found a home here though. What did you prep? I prepped my pencils and then I cut it on. Oh. So he yeah. prepped his stencil. The majority of the stencil. <laughs> and see underneath all this is black already. Oh, okay, cool. I like it. It's gonna look really nice. Mike proved to me yet again that there is no artistic feat that he cannot handle. From learning how to do camouflage paint for the first time, to delicately making his own stencils and cutting out these exhaust tips for our wheelbarrow with a scalpel. <laughs> he filled in much of the shading and outline by hand. and used a ton of masking tape. He taped and painted, and then taped again, and painted, and then peeled. I didn't ask how many rolls of tape we went through. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it looks good, dude. That's gotta be the coolest wheelbarrow anywhere. This, this little jack. Uh oh. Well, now I can't put it on YouTube because you cussed. <laughs> so these are our, the new handles. And he coated them with um, that truck bed liner on the top where we put down um, rakes and shovels and stuff so it doesn't get dinged up as readily. And then he changed the color, uh, but these are metal, so they should last a lot longer than the wooden ones. Um, but he took the old ones and sanded them, and he stained them. <laughs> and they're like really pretty now, but we're gonna put these on my dad's wheelbarrow. So he made some gorgeous handles for my dad's wheelbarrow, and he still did the truck bed liner on top of these too. The final piece of the puzzle was the vinyl that started it all, but even that did not go on without its challenges. Overall, I am thrilled with how it came out and I look forward to using it for years to come. It has to be the coolest wheelbarrow anywhere.